Hello. Happy Monday. All right, get all my stuff set up here so I can see all of your comments and see all of your beautiful names as you are popping on here. It's always these pop-ups that come up for me. They're little tips from Facebook to tell me how to do a good job in my live. <laughs> All right. All right, I see a couple people hopping on. Welcome, thanks for joining me tonight. Um, as you pop on, you know the drill, say hi, tell me where you're from. Um, I'm super excited because tonight I am playing with those crazy chickens from our new uh, Hey Birthday Chick Bundle. So, oh, I'm so excited. Hi, Bernetta, welcome. I am doing fabulous this Monday evening. Hope you're doing well too. Hi, Jackie. Welcome. Thanks for watching, ladies. Hi, Jody. Thanks for watching. Oh my goodness, Mondays are usually super, super hectic for me um, at work. And this week I'm in um, an immersion program for some training and I am learning so, so much, and I am so loving it, but that meant my day was not quite as hectic as it usually is. Um, so I'm grateful for that, of course, but I have been looking forward to stamping with you guys all day. I'm super excited. So I see a number of you just popping on. Hi, Jean, welcome, thanks for watching. Jean's in North Dakota. I'm curious if you are having the kind of frigid temperatures that we're having. Um, John and I went for breakfast together on Valentine's Day, and the temperature in the truck was negative 15, and that didn't include the wind chill. It was so cold. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Hi, Robin. Thanks for joining. Oh, Jackie's excited to see the new chicken stamps and dies. They're adorable, and I've got a super fun um, a special thank you gift for when you order these um, dies for me. So I'm going to tell you all about that tonight. I've got a lot going on. I'm excited to share with you. Hi, Carol. Carol's watching from Connecticut. Super fun. Um, I don't see that one come up a lot. Thanks for joining, Carol. <clears throat> Hi, Robin. Robin has both of the chicken sets. Oh, I'm so excited to get you inspired. Arliss, Julie, Marsha, hi, welcome. Thanks for sharing, Bernetta. So let's talk about that, sharing. I so, so, so appreciate it. When you share my video, it makes my heart happy. And listen, it really helps to support my small business. So when you share this video on your wall, it helps me with my Facebook analytics, my Google analytics. And if you wanna help support me, that is um, one of the very best ways that you can do that is by sharing this video. So if you wouldn't mind taking a minute and just hitting that share button, I so appreciate it. And you know what? If you're watching the live on YouTube, you can share the YouTube video to your page too. And that helps me as well. And I so appreciate it. Absolutely love that. I see some people saying shared. Thank you so much. Plus, you know, I do drawings for sharing. So um, <clears throat> that's always a bonus. Carol has been on the fence about getting the chicken stamps. I think you're going to want them after tonight, Carol, because I got some adorable cards for you. You are going to love them. All right. So I see so many of you saying hi. Thanks for greeting me. Say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. Even if you're catching the replay, I so appreciate that. And then for those of you who aren't on Facebook, I always post the replay to YouTube and you can say hello and play right along with um, on YouTube. So that's always super fun. If you are catching the replay on YouTube or any of you watching live right now, I have all sorts of videos all over YouTube. You just search for Rose Grunewald and you'll find my channel and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then you'll have all my video tutorials in one handy place. It's amazing. I'm all about simple. All right. I got prizes. I almost forgot about prizes. Let's do prizes first. So last week I played with the floating and fluttering butterfly set. Um, do you remember 
this pretty card. Whoops, wrong way. Gorgeous. How about this one? Remember this one? And then my favorite, the floating frame card. I'm going to try and see, see how you can see how that frame of those butterflies is like popped up on the page. I'm giving away all three of these cards that I made in the live last week. And the winner of that is Carol Spanos Schaefer. So congratulations, Carol. I saw your name. There you are. Congrats on your prize. I need your address, Carol. So if you could shoot me a private message or an email at countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com, I will get this in the mail to you this week. Um, congrats. You're going to love those cards. All right, next for sharing my video, I have, I'm getting to the end of my stash. I only have two of these left, actually one after tonight. Um, so I've got this card kit to make that pretty card with the hummingbird there. If you don't have the stamp set, you can swap for something else. You can bling it up if you've got all sorts of ribbons and pretty um embellishments otherwise it's beautiful just the way it is too and this is for sharing and the winner of this card kit you get to make four of these is kim crane so congratulations kim i saw your name i also need your address i don't think i have it um so if you wouldn't mind sending me a private message or an email i will get that out in the mail to you this week and our last prize here is for ordering. So um, for the ordering prize, I have um, a roll of this braided linen trim, Mossy Meadow braided linen trim. This is some of my favorite, you guys. I love it. And the winner of this is Julie Jensen. I see Julie just popped on. Congratulations, Julie. I do have your address, so I will get this in the mail to you this week. And I see Julie says that Barb says hi. Hi, Barb. <laughs> All right. We should just cover a couple things before I forget. Um, today is the second to last. So tomorrow is the very last day to order my Forever and Always class to go pre-order. If you're interested in purchasing that class, you get to make um, 12 cards using the Forever and Always bundle and the Pretty DSP, the True Black and White True Love DSP, and it also includes a pack of the Snail Twine Combo Pack. You can get details on my website, www.rosegrunewald.com. And across the top, there's a link so, that says classes to go. Cards using the um, Hey Chick. Well, I'm actually using the Hey Birthday Chick bundle tonight. So um, those are available. And I'm sorry, that's a little bit small. I don't know that you can see it, but I'm just showing you here on my screen that you can get the stamp set and the dies, and I'll show you them close up. So let's stamp. What do you say? Okay. I'm going to turn on another light here, bring this a little closer. Okay, so you guys recognize these adorable chickens. Do you remember them? They were from Celebration, I think two years ago now. They were so, so, so. Well, Stampin' Up! heard everyone say, we want dies for these chickens, bring them back, we love them. And so they did just that and they made these fun dies that coordinate and you can get these right now. <coughs> um, I'll have the link to order them in the replay. And you might have noticed here in our catalog, page 52, these new fun birthday chickens. Well, they released a coordinating die set that goes with them as well. So the cards we're using tonight uses the Hey Birthday Chick bundle. And I have got a special going on when you order this bundle from me that I will tell you all about as we're stamping here. So I'm gonna get out some, don't mind all my clicking and snapping. I've got some 
bins here. So while I'm getting this ready, I just want to tell you that while you, um, if you order the Hey Birthday Chick bundle from me, you will get a card kit to make four adorable cards. And I am featuring two of the cards tonight. And the card we're about to make is one of them. And the other two cards will be a mystery. You won't know what they are until you get um, the card kit in the mail. There will be PDF instructions so that you'll know exactly how to put everything together. All right, so. Oh, Arliss made a desk calendar today. Yes, Jean, celebration 2017. Oh my gosh, that's four years ago already. Holy cow, that seems like just yesterday we had those crazy chickens. Okay, so we are going to start out with some super fun colors. Um, some I haven't used together before, so I'm excited about that. I've got a piece of Mary Merlot here. <coughs> and this one is, let me move my catalog out so I can see my notes and my measurements. And... All right, this one's five and a half by eight and a half. And we are gonna fold this over and burnish that edge. Are you guys still loving my new desktop? You guys can see my project so much easier on this new desktop, beautiful. All right. And I forgot to get something out here, so let me get it up now. I thought that this Mary Merlot color looked a lot like the deep red of a barn. So we're going to, I've got another layer here of Mary Merlot that's four by five and a quarter, and I'm gonna emboss this in my Pinewood Planks embossing folder. So I'm just going to do my best to line this up straight. I probably should do that after I get my big boss here. All right, get my plates out. <clears throat> okay. So for this one, I, I always forget the right way because I didn't right because this is one of our old ones so let's see if this is gonna go through nope okay one second let's try with a normal cover yep this will work all right oh my screw came undone I didn't tighten that very good when I did it. I was in such a hurry. Okay. Let's see, did this work? Yep, it totally did. So, move some of my stuff out of the way here. Okay, so as you can see, this pine wood planks leaves this um, a piece of cardstock looking like barn boards to me. So <clears throat> we are going to use that and I'm going to find a punch here. I also have a piece of basic black here. And let me just trim this off. Whoops. I've got a scrap of basic black, a scrap of whisper white, and a scrap of coastal cabana. So let me grab my dies. I am going to cut out this fence out of my basic black. So let's grab that out and for this I'm just going to use my baby boss here real quick. My baby boss is like my favorite thing. It's so little. 
for this thing. Okay. Do any of you have the baby boss yet? I love this thing. It doesn't take up a bunch of space. You know, it doesn't work for every single die that we have, but it works for a lot of them. And it's so nice not to have it take up as much room. Of course I have to have both because they both have their uses and they're both amazing and smooth and wonderful. All right. And while I have my baby boss out here, I'm gonna do my stamping of this fun little chicken. So now the card I'm making right now is one of the cards that you will get in your card kit when you order the Hey Chick, Hey Birthday Chick bundle from me. So these are your video instructions. You'll get to see one of the cards that you'll get to make <clears throat> with this. All right. Now, we're gonna do some coloring. So let me move some stuff out of the way so you can see my coloring here. I have my Stampin' Blends here. Um, let's see. All right, I've got some pumpkin pie, dark pumpkin pie, and I'm gonna use that for this chicken's beak. So I just go in and use it for the beak. Now, I wanted a color that went really well with the Mary Merlot. So um, for, I don't know what this thing on the top of this chicken's head is, this tuft, and then this little gobbler thing that's hanging down. As you can tell, I've totally got the, um, the scientific names down. <laughs> okay, I'm using, oops, I went for the wrong one here. I'm gonna use the dark, and I know that this seems really, really, really super detailed, but sometimes these details make all the difference. I'm just going right along the base of the head and the base of that gobbler thing with the dark uh, cherry cobbler blend. And then I'm gonna come in with my light cherry cobbler blend and blend that together. I don't know if you can see, but the shading, oh, it's gonna be hard with the light. The shading, let's see if I can pull the light over. The shading details um, are nice. Okay, and now I am going to come in with my dark crumb cake and I'm gonna grab this fine point tip and I'm going to go like at the base of the wings. I'm gonna border all around this chicken and I'm gonna like, think about all the areas that there might be darker creases or a shadow, which is usually just kind of the silhouette and outline. Here we've got some of these feathers. I'll just kind of quickly go in here and highlight these same pieces that are um, stamped on. Oh, Jean knows the right words. The comb is the top of the head and the waddle is under the beak or the neck area. Thank you, Jean. You are our resident chicken expert. Do you have chickens? I'm s now I'm wondering how you know so much about chickens. Okay, now with my light crumb cake, I am coming in here and this crumb cake has been well loved and I'm waiting for my new blends to arrive that I ordered. So it's getting a little bit dry. There's a little bit of juice left in them, so I'm gonna use it up. I enjoy using 
the last of my Stampin' Blends a lot more than I enjoy using the last of my Stampin' Dimensionals. This doesn't bother me at all, but using those edges of those Dimensionals is like, oh man, torturous for me. It's not that bad, but... All right. And remember, blends blend when they're wet. So you're gonna have to go over some of those areas to soften those edges. And then I want to, you know how the belly of the chickens are usually a little bit lighter? I'm just going to go in with my color lifter and just lighten that up a little bit. So our chicken is colored. And now let's bring in our dye. And we'll cut this out on our baby boss. Let's see. Um, it, it looks, someone said that they, oh, Kim, her husband calls the baby hit the little shot. Big shot and little shot. That's cute. All right. I'm just grabbing a post-it here so I can secure this down because I don't want this going anywhere when I, oh, and it already moved. Okay. And of course, I got a huge post-it here. little guy all right and remember too celebration is going on so like i think one of these bundles is like 43 bucks you could just add on some paper and get a free celebration item which is always fun and awesome to have that going on during celebration. All right, we've got our chicken cut out here. I don't wanna lose my dye, so I'm just gonna stick it back on here real quick. Okay. So we've got our chicken cut out, our fence cut out. We've got our card front embossed, and now I'm gonna grab my two and a quarter inch circle punch. And I'm gonna punch a circle here out of my Coastal Cabana scrap. And now we are gonna start putting stuff together. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I hope I have enough linen thread here. I don't know if I do. We'll see, I'm at the end of my thread. We're gonna wrap this around our card front layer. Okay, we might have enough, just enough. I really don't like tying with not very much string on my ends, but for you guys, I will totally do it. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Glad you could catch my live tonight. Kelly is a new Stampin' friend of mine. And thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, I just love connecting with all of you lovely crafty friends on Monday evenings. I have so much fun. Every time I am done, I am like, Oh, that was so much fun. I can't wait. I wish I could go live every night. I just don't know that I could come up with enough projects in time. Oh my gosh. But I have so much fun. I really do wish that I could I had the time to go live with you every night because we really have a blast here, don't we? Oh my gosh. I just love it. Hey, I had enough twine to wrap this around. Super fun. Okay, now let me grab my little foam mat here. 
Now on this circle, in our stamp set, we have this, I'm gonna show you on the stamp set, this little confetti. Here, I'm gonna stamp that on my circle. I'm gonna do some tone on tone stamping using my Coastal Cabana ink pad. And I've already got this um, stamp mounted. So, I'm going to just do a few of those. Okay, and then I've got my fence and my little chicken. And um, let me, I didn't cut this. Let me do a little cutting here because I need a scrap of whisper white and I think I can get it out of this piece. So this piece is gonna go on our inside. I'm cutting it down to five and a quarter by four. And we'll see if I can make these little tiny scraps work here. Uh, let's see. I have got the stamp that says happy birthday. Use this wider one. And I'm gonna stamp the happy birthday in Mary Merlot on this scrap. Oh, that looks pretty darn good. We're gonna cut this out so it does not have to be perfect. All right, now I'm gonna take my snips and I'm just going to cut these words apart and snip the ends off. I kind of cut And then we'll do the same thing with birthday. Like that. So we've taken our sentiment and cut it into two pieces. All right, now we can start putting our card together. I'm gonna adhere, move my water. That would be so bad if I spilled water all over my project. Have any of you done that before? Because I'm really nervous I'm gonna do it one of these days. All right, I'm getting out my stamp and seal. And I have been using this um, silicone mat when I do my gluing. And you guys, it is amazing. I don't get all that sticky glue on my workspace. I love it. It's been kind of sitting next to me and I haven't been using it very often. And I thought, I don't, I don't like it when my, um, when my tabletop gets sticky with glue, it like gets everywhere sometimes. So I started using the silicone mat and it's really awesome. And the glue on here, like if you get glue on here, it literally just, I don't have any on here, I thought I did, but it just um, kind of rolls up into a ball and then you can throw it away. Super amazing. I know, Robin, did you hear him singing? I heard it, it was so smooth, so amazing. And you know what I learned? When you have a new stamp and seal refill, the angels sing even louder. It's amazing. I love my stamp and seal. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that Stampin' Up! Um, they replaced the snail with the stamp and seal, and I really, really like it. Okay, so we've got this fence. And I've got some glue dots and I'm going to put glue dots on the three middle fence posts. So I'm literally just picking up the glue dots with my fence posts here. And then I'm going to glue them down on this circle. Just like that. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing with my happy and birthday. I should have done birthday first, but that's okay. I've got happy. And then I'll come in with my birthday. Just like that. And then I've got this adorable chicken. And I have some dimensionals that I'm about to use up here. So I better use them. On the front side of this chicken, I'm going to put these dimensionals and pop it up just like this. Okay, now I've got this whole sheet here. And I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals as well. Normally when I do um, tone on tone layers like this, I pop the second layer up, but I knew I was going to be popping up this circle. So I just glued it. And I just threw away an entire clean sheet, no edges of dimensionals. You all should be proud of me for my dimensional therapy, getting okay using those edges. All right. Now we're going to stick this circle here on our card, just like so. Cute! And we need a little bling. Okay. Matte black dots. And I have been using the putty side of my Take Your Pick tool to grab these off my sheet and stick them down. <laughs> I know Jody's so proud of me that I'm using those edges. It's the weirdest thing that I have that aversion to that, isn't it? You all think I'm a crazy sticker probably. All right. Okay, so we've got happy birthday and I thought it would be fun on the inside, I am going to grab this um, <clears throat> sentiment that says, let's celebrate you. Uh, let's see. Looking for my Mary Merlot. What am I doing? <laughs> grab my chamois. I meant to grab this. Ooh, one of those days. <laughs> I see everyone is cheering for me that I use the edge of my dimensionals and I appreciate all of your support. It means the world to me. Thank you so, so much. <clears throat> all right. And let's come in with this fun little chicken eating the cupcake. What do you think? I actually haven't used this chicken stamp yet out of the set. This is a little stampin' on the fly. So I'm going to bring this chicken in from the side. Cute! Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. All right. Now we gotta do some gluing. Are we ready to hear those angels, Robin? Oh my gosh, I'm ready. The stamp and seal is so smooth and amazing. No clicking, it's quiet. You only need a little bit. I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna put this right Like so. 
There we go. It says, happy birthday. Let's celebrate you. Isn't that cute? Love it. All right. Our first card is done. What do you think? That is the first card in your card kit as a special thank you for ordering the Hey Birthday Chick bundle from me. So when you order the bundle using my host code, I will send you a kit and you will get to make this card and three others. And I am about to show you the second This next one is super cute. Well, they're all super cute, but yeah. So there's our first card. I gotta clean up my station here before I get to my next one. Okay. <clears throat> Our next card, we're using some ombre paper from Celebration. And I already have a few of these pieces cut out. Aren't these some bright, fun colors? All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. So, the first thing I have is a piece of basic white thick cardstock. Now, when I use um, white as my card base, I always use the thick cardstock. Um, and this piece is five and a half by eight and a half. And I do score the thick basic white. Um, I find it folds so much easier when it's scored. So that is scored at four and a quarter. And then I burnish that edge. Card base is ready to go here. Now, <laughs> I'm going to show you some um, fun color combinations in this card. Um, but you should know that I have made all sorts of different color combinations. All of these go together. So you've got a mix of solids and little bubbles and so much fun. But that is that Oso Ombre paper for um, celebration. I might have to move that embellishment, <laughs> Kim. So funny. Robin's saying the same thing. Maybe they should go to the other side, not under the chicken. Should we move it quick? Here, we'll put it over two of them here. And I'll move this third one up over here. There we go. That's better. <laughs> You ladies are always looking out for me. All right. So in this set, we have this adorable little egg. This little chick hatching out of this egg with a birthday party hat on. And I just think it's so cute. So that's what we're using on this card. And actually, let me trim this away. Set this aside and just make it easier for us to work with this. Okay. Got my memento ink here because we're going to be coloring with some blends. Do our one little chicken there and our second little chicken over here. Okay, now I have got 
um, dark and light Bermuda Bay, dark and light uh, Blackberry Bliss, and then my dark Daffodil Delight. So let me go through here with my Daffodil Delight. And first I'm gonna color his beak or her beak and the feet. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same on our other little baby chick. Color the beak and the feet. Now the card I'm making right now, I think I mentioned it, but I can't remember. The card I'm making right now is the second card that you will get in your card kit when you order this bundle from me. Okay, next I'm taking my dark Bermuda Bay and I am going to just go on one little tiny side of the chicken's hat. I know, little, little details. And then I'll take my light and color in the rest of the hat and kind of blend that over. I hear my husband just pulled in the driveway. So if you guys hear my dogs barking in the background, you'll know a little bit what it's like to live in our house with two crazy dogs. Just forewarning you, just in case. Okay. Um, and I'll finish coloring in with my light Blackberry Bliss. So all this is doing is bringing in just a little bit of shading on that little baby chick's hat. <clears throat> okay. Isn't that cute? So adorable. And you know what? There's only a little bit of coloring on this one. So even if you're not a super fan of coloring, um, this little bit of coloring is totally doable, in my opinion. All right, we're gonna use our baby box again. So technically this is called a mini stamp and cut embossing machine, I think. I just call it my baby boss. I should call it my purse, but because that's how big it is. Actually, my purse is bigger. <clears throat> All right. Grab a post it here and going to secure this. Um, Kim is asking, are the chick sets available past celebration? They are. Um, I can't read the dates here, but they are going through, I believe it is June. <clears throat> um, they, the chicks are available past celebration, yes, because they're not a celebration stamp set. Um, so yes, they are available till June. My ordering special, however, is while supplies last, I have a limited number of kits here um, and only available through the end of February. Um, if you were thinking of ordering and wanted that card kit, um, you can only get that kit if you order by the end of the month. And I have a limited number of, of kits here, so it's kind of first come, first serve while supplies last. <clears throat> because I'm using that Oso Ombre paper and I don't have unlimited amounts, um, I only have a certain number that I can cut for you. All right, so we are lining up that next little chicken here. And, whoops, of course I bumped it right when I'm trying not to bump it. And we'll run this through our baby boss here. Now, if you bought like the chicken set and a baby boss, 
you also would be at um, like over a hundred bucks and you could look at getting that um, five free packs of paper with the discount shopper special. So if that was something that was on your list and you're like, I got to have those chickens and I got to have that baby boss, let's talk about the best way to get you that deal um, because you should save 20% on that. And I want to make sure you save your money. Okay, so we've got two chickens, two little baby chicks cut out here. <laughs> um, I had to grab one more punch that I forgot to get out. I've got my banners punch here, and I have a piece of Blackberry Bliss uh, color in this ombre paper. This is four by five and a quarter. And then these fun Bermuda Bay circles, the other side is, um, I think, Rococo Rose, I can't remember. And this is three quarters of an inch wide, and let me double check. I think, yeah, it's four inches, four in, by four inches. Okay, now I'm gonna stick this in here and snip off the ends with this punch. And then I'll do the same on the other side. And you really could pick whichever one you wanted, whether you want the um, inverted ends or the pointy ends. Um, either one works. Um, if you buy this, when you buy the bundle from me it, um, and I send you a kit, this will already be punched for you, the ends of this, just so that you know. And the paper will already be cut and everything. So um, if you don't have the punch, you're not going to have to worry about it. All right. Okay. Now... I have a scrap here that I lost. Let me just quick grab a scrap of Whisper White or Basic White. I keep calling it the wrong thing. And I also have this Label Me Lovely Punch. I'm going to grab my um, Happy Birthday. Here it is. And my Memento. I'm going to stamp this here and then I'm going to punch around that. Oops, I'm going a little off the page. Um, this label punch, Bernetta, the label me lovely, it's my favorite punch. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, it's my favorite. I love it so much. All right, I'm lining up my happy birthday. I just love how it's something different than like the circles and the other tags. It usually adds just that perfect amount of like decoration to what I am punching out and I really like that. Okay. <clears throat> and you know what? It's been on my wish list for a long time <clears throat> and I finally bought it the other day and I've been using it all the time like crazy. All right, I'm coming in with my confetti again, and I've got Blackberry Bliss here, <clears throat> and I'm going to stamp off and then stamp my Blackberry Bliss and stamp off and stamp it again, kind of going across the label. And next, I need my Bermuda Bay. And let me clean off the stamp really quick. This chamois is amazing. I can clean my stamps in no time. It only uses water. It's awesome. Okay, and I'm going to stamp off again and stamp my Bermuda Bay. Stamp off again, stamp my Bermuda Bay. So I've got both Blackberry Bliss and Bermuda Bay confetti going on. 
Okay. Now we are going to start putting our card together. So the first thing I'm going to do, here we go, is glue down my strip. Are we ready for the angels singing? So smooth, so amazing. I love it. All right, we're going to glue this down. I don't know, I would say this is about, um, what would you say, like, uh, I didn't quite have it centered. This is about a third of the way from the top, I would say. There we go. And I'm going to grab some of my white twine from my snail mail combo pack. And I've got the end of my roll here. I've been using this like crazy. I've really missed the Whisper White Baker's twine. So I'm super, super happy that we have some white twine back. It's awesome. I love it. Um, and actually, I guess I don't have to be quite as stingy with it here. There we go. I'm wrapping this around twice. And then we will tie this in a bow. But first, you know, with these twines and the thinner uh, ribbon like this, I like to tie it in a knot first. <clears throat> All right. There we go. And then I'll tie it in a bow. Boy, I got plenty of extra here. I probably could have done one more card with it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna snip off the ends. What are you thinking so far? Are you liking how this is coming together? Liking these colors? Okay, next we've got these adorable little chickens. And let me get, oh, this is heavenly too. A fresh sheet of dimensionals is like, oh, that's angel singing too, I'm telling you. I love a fresh sheet of dimensionals. Okay. All right, so we are going to put these little chicks right here on top of this label, just like so. Like they are partying, don't you think? And I totally forgot I have to glue this down. Oh. Love this glue so darn much. So soon. Okay, we're going to glue these layers to our card front. Make sure we're centered here. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going to grab. couple more dimensionals and pop up this label onto the front. Just like this. There we go. What do you think? A little bling. Let's get those black dots again. I love to use the black here because it's going to bring out the black in that um, ink. But I need to find my magical take your pick tool. Here we go. Um, and I promise not to make it look like the chicken coop that you have to clean out. <laughs> All 
There we go. Isn't that adorable? Okay, now if you guys have some markers, you could also um, spritz. Do that marker flicking like I've showed you, but this card is beautiful um, even without it. Gorgeous, huh? Let me, um, I really want you to see this. Isn't that pretty? I love that adorable card. Now, as I was playing around, I made one with some other ribbon I was playing around with, some other um, embellishments. So here's another version. And this one I did spritz a little bit with that ink. Um, but either way, they're adorable. I think I like the white twine and the simplicity of that one a little bit more. So there is the second um, card for your card kit when you order the Hey Birthday Chick bundle from me. So, so far, we have got this adorable barnyard card and then this one using the ombre paper. Now, together um but i promise you they'll be sharp whatever ones you want to use isn't that cute i have one more card to make now this card is not going to be in the card kit if you order the bundle for me it's just an extra um idea for you to use the hey chick set should we, do we have time for one more card? Should we make one more? And then I've got a whole bunch of um, cards from a swap I was in that I want to show you because there's some adorable stuff in there and you guys got to see it. It's amazing. Okay. Let's see here. I didn't really wait for you all to tell me that you're okay with one more card, but usually when I ask that, everyone says, yes, one more card. So I'm hoping you're going to stay, say the same <laughs> and want to see one more card. Carol says, yes, one more, please. Okay. I'm so glad somebody wants to see one more card. All right, here we go. Okay. So let me tell you the story of how this card came to be in my head. I haven't made this card, but I have an idea what I want to do here. I was looking through my fun paper and I saw these two patterns together and I thought, well, that sure looks crazy. And then I thought of the crazy chickens. So this is my inspiration, this crazy paper. All right. Um, and this comes from the what's it called flower and field designer series paper all right that is free during the celebration so i've got all these fun all these fun papers oops from celebration to show you look at isn't that beautiful i have it upside down but all those pretty, pretty patterns in that paper. Um, and celebration is ending soon. We've got only like the 28th, less than two weeks. So 13 days left. Don't mind my arm there. Um, Jody says you're winging it. I'm totally winging it. I have an idea. I got some crazy colors together here, but we'll see how this goes. Okay. I've got um, card base. I'm going to go with Bumblebee. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And fold and burnish this. Okay, now um, these are scraps. This is going to be for my inside. So um, should we stamp our inside right away and just kind of get that out of the way? Yeah, let's do that. I was thinking it would be fun. 
for us to do these little chickens. like this across the bottom. Just like so. And then this thing that says, you're still a spring chicken. I'm gonna put up here. Okay. And then this is totally on the fly, guys. <laughs> but as I'm stamping this, I'm thinking we could use some confetti. So let's grab my bumblebee. And we'll do some confetti by our chickens. Like that. And because I'm putting some of these funky colors together, I'm gonna bring that through to the inside. So our other color that we're doing here is Flirty Flamingo. So let's do some confetti in Flirty Flamingo too. Uh, do it like this. Okay. So those little chickens are partying. What do you think? Adorable? I love it. Okay. Now, let me grab my silicone mat so I can glue this on the inside. We will grab our, oh, so amazing. I hear those angels singing. I love this glue. You guys are sick of me saying that all the time, I bet, but it's so awesome. Okay. I got my inside here. Isn't this adorable, those partying little baby chicks? I love the inside already. This makes me want to do an outside with this set. Hmm, that layout. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's do more stamping. I got this chicken being carried away by a balloon. And we are going to stamp this like so. And then um, color it in with our blend. So I grabbed my um, Mango Melody Light and Dark, and I'm gonna do dark for the beak. And then right by the body, I'm just going to color the little legs dark. And then I'll grab the yellow. And color the rest of his feet or her. I don't really know if this is a boy or a girl chicken. And then I've got my dark and light poppy parade. And I'm just going to... Um, color this, uh, what did Jean tell me it was called? The crest. We're going to color the crest. So I learned a little bit of chicken anatomy tonight. And that's how we're going to color on our chicken. Now I've got my flirty flamingo light and dark. And so I'm going to come in here and take my dark and just color along this part of the balloon and the little tail on the balloon. And then I will come in with my light and color the rest in and blend it. Just like so. 
And I'll do some shading here. And when they're wet, so I just come back in and soften those edges and blend it. Comb! Oh, comb! Look at all of you know that it's comb, and I don't know what it's called. I call it a crest. Okay, comb. <laughs> I am not a chicken expert by far, as you all can tell. The comb is what I colored it. Okay. So now we can die cut this, and through the magic of TV, I have done that for you. So you don't have to watch me die cut because we're already getting a little long on time tonight. But there's our adorable little chicken die cut. It's happy birthday word. And I'm going to grab my two and a quarter inch circle punch here. And let me grab my mat. I'm going to stamp this up here. I hope I have this in the right place. If not, I'll just redo it. No big deal. Okay, and then I will come in with my circle and I'm going to line this up. I've seen this all over the place and my friend. of my circle. <clears throat> okay. Now we are going to get to putting our card together. So got my chicken. I've got my circle punched. Got my card base with the inside. And now we've got these <clears throat> layers of designer series paper. So um, again, from that flower and field, this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter inches. So it's a perfect square. And I'm going to glue that down on my card front. I probably don't need this much glue, but um, I want my lines, my stripes going horizontally. So let's glue that down like so. So we've got some fun bright colors here. And I'm going to grab my happy birthday circle. And this is going to get tucked behind this layer here like so. So I'm going to put some glue just on this edge and then I'm going to line it up and tuck it right along the edge just like that. Okay, and now we've got our chicken. I'm going to pop this chicken up on dimensionals. Ooh. So, and the little balloon. The bachelor is vicious right now, Melanie says. Oh my goodness. Um, I DVR it, so I will get to see all of the drama as soon as I am done stamping with you. Monday is my favorite night of the week. The Bachelor is on, and I stamp with you guys. So much fun. Carol says, that's my favorite chicken in the bundles. This thing is adorable. I love how that little um, balloon is floating this chicken away. And I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals right here over the top of our polka dots. I forgot to tell you how big this polka dot card is. Sorry about that. Let me get my notes. It's um, five and a half inches tall and it's two and three quarters inches wide. Now we're going to put this here on our card front. So I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals too. 
I usually pop up two layers. I've kind of noticed a little theme in my popping up. I like to pop up two layers. So um, any more than that does, I notice, get a little tricky to um, mail. Just gets a little thick. So, okay. Line these up, top and bottom here. Oops, I'm not being very good at being straight, so hopefully I... Let's try this again. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oops, now I have it way too far over. Oh my gosh, you guys. Maybe The Bachelor will be too much drama for me tonight. I can't even get this lined up straight. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now we've got some super fun patterns here. We've got our little happy birthday poking out with a circle. And um, we've got our balloon. And I feel like, let's see, should we get some ribbon on here? You know, I love my twine or ribbon. I'm like every single card I do. Let's see how this looks. Sometimes I just will put it in the spine of the card just for We'll see how that looks today. And if it doesn't look good, we'll just snip it off. No big deal. Okay. I'm gonna go up a little higher here. Uh -huh. Melanie says, I probably finished stamping and finished the bachelor because you have to wait for the commercials. You know what? You might be right about that. I get to fast forward through them. And Diana, I see, just popped on. You know what, Diana? You won a prize last week for sharing my video, and I need your address. I was just going through my unclaimed prizes today. Um, so if you could send me your address... Um, either by email, countrycardsbyrose.gmail.com or um, private message me here on Facebook with your address. I will get that out in the mail to you this week. There we go. So how do we like that? Do we like that with the twine on there? I think that kind of adds a little something to it. like that. Do we want some embellishments? I think that those stripes, those polka dots are adorable. And you know what? I never would have thought to combine them, but they were sitting there next to each other. And I thought, huh, those look kind of fun. We could do some bling. I don't know. I don't want to overdo it, but I feel like sometimes just a little bling helps. So, go here. Here. And here. I don't know that bling ever really hurts a card, does it? Oh, that's a good idea, Robin, with the ice cream sweet, because you could swap this chicken out for an ice cream cone. That's a great idea. And you know what? I might do that <laughs> next week. I love that idea. And I haven't played around with the um, 
ice cream seat. Ooh, Robin says, Stella the balloon. Okay. You don't have to twist my arm. Let's put a little Stella on this balloon. Oh, boy. That was a lot that came out at once. Pretty. There we go. What do you think? Which is your favorite that I made tonight? This one was a little on the fly and I really like it. So there's our extra inspiration. I'm cleaning up my space so I can show you some more cards. So here is uh, just a little extra inspiration here using this card. Did you love that one? A little stamping on the fly. I especially love the inside of that particular card. And we've got the two cards that you'll get to make in your kit. Our little baby chicks partying and our barnyard chicken dancing around. So these two come in your kit. This is a little extra inspiration for you. And do you have some time to see some swaps? I'm going to go through some of those next. I'm going to work on getting the replay of this up on my blog. Um, usually I'm able to get those posted by Wednesday or Thursday. All right. So are we ready? Okay, so here we go. Um, this is an adorable card. I'm actually gonna zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see these a little better. Featuring this same birthday chick bundle. Super simple. My friend Dina made this one. Um, I love this one. Um, this is from Deb Snyder is her name, and um, she made this, and it's got this pool party ribbon as a little tutu on that chicken. Isn't that adorable? <clears throat> um, and I love this one. That little, Carol, here's your favorite chicken again. That little chicken hanging out with its balloon. That one's adorable, right? Um, some of these, I don't have the notes as to who made them. So I apologize if anyone's watching who's in this. Um, my friend Denise made this one. <clears throat> Isn't that cute? This is, uses the um, all wired up background stamp. And these dies are in the hay chick with the happy birthday and the little chicken house. Okay, and here's these birthday chickens again. This uses this little, I don't know what this thing is. I think you can get these on Amazon. But it's like a fun little, oh, someone said lost sound. Can you guys hear me okay? Let me know if you cannot. Um, but this has uh, this little, I don't know. Um, this is from my friend Christine Bertram, and that has that fun little chicken with the um, wobbles, Kim says. That's what they're called, with the balloon again. My friend Kathy Miller made this fun fold. She stelled up the happy birthday, so you probably can't see it very well, but it is shiny. That's a cute little fun fold with that funky chicken eating that cupcake. I'm going to eat some cheesecake while I watch The Bachelor tonight. Um, Karen made this one. I don't know how to say her last name, so I'm not going to try. It's another fun fold. Adorable. Um, this one, I don't have a name on it, but here's another fun fold. You open this up. Cute, huh? Love that. Um, my friend Kelly Atchison made this one. This uses a, a Ziploc baggy technique and some markers. If you would like me to show this technique on a live, let me know. I will 
um, make this card and show you how we can do that and some ideas for that. set again. Uh, my friend Lori Krause made this bright one. Look at those fun bright colors. Cute. For those that are into golf, the white with this um, embossing folder um, looks like a golf ball. So I love that. Um, and then we've got this fun fold, the little square, this chicken. Last one, um, Sandy Carlson made this one and she has blended the background with some blending brushes and that little chicken is being um, carried away on the farm. Super, super cute. So there is a whole bunch of inspiration using these cards this stamp set. Don't forget my ordering special going on. Um, the My special thank you for you if you order the Hey Birthday Chick bundle from me. Um, if you need supplies, I would love to be your demonstrator. I send a hand stamp thank you to everyone who orders from me. And you can shop my online store and browse all sorts of inspiration too. Um, at my blog at www.rosegrunewald.com um, in order for you to get the card kit with the hay chicken bundle um, you need to use my host code 7fmr3ymf now if you've got a bigger order that you want to put in and um, you do the discount shopper special and you do the birthday chick as part of that i will um, send you the card kit if you don't, you're a member of my team, you get all my PDFs for my classes for free for being on my team, as long as you placed an order that month. So um, you definitely don't have to miss out on that anyway. Okay, it was so fun stamping with you guys tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will be here again, same place, same time next Monday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I had a lot of fun chatting with you all while I stamped. I hope you were inspired. Let me know or my class or anything going on. I am happy to help. You can email me at countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com. Um, all right, I'm going to be wrapping up. I hope you all have a great rest of your night.